a lot of teachers who are new to online learning and teaching don't have the time to invest in looking at a lot of literature to try and get good ideas about best practice. So really the idea is about popping across to a colleague's office who's done it before and having a relaxed conversation about the reality of what it takes to teach online well. The biggest pitfall when you start teaching online is to think that the technology is going to... One of the main aims of this project was to include as many voices as possible. We didn't want it to be something that was coming just from COFA Online and this is the way that you should be doing it. So we looked to a lot of other institutions across Australia and also in the UK. And what that involved was um, really going on the road and interviewing as many academics as we could. It was about finding people out there who are really doing it in their classrooms and who are not just shining exemplars, but really at the coalface of this sort of new teaching practice so we could actually understand the pitfalls as well as the benefits. Merlot is um, a very highly regarded and one of the largest um, open educational resources in the world. A group of like-minded academics from many different universities in the US, but also it includes people from libraries and also professional bodies. Probably what makes it such a special award for us to, to get is that it's peer reviewed. You can't apply for the award, so we were really surprised when we found out about it, delighted when we found out about it. involved travelling around Australia, some international trips, um, shooting, editing, post-producing, delivering, and uh, I think it was a great team effort. So production quality has actually been something that many institutions who are now using this resource have responded to us about. They said that because it actually looks so professional, it actually gave them confidence to use this learning resource to represent their own institutions. The fact that UNSW had the facilities to make that process much easier was a massive drawcard for us and it actually improved the efficiency of our dissemination process. The uptake has been absolutely phenomenal. We know we've been completely, we had very high standards and we've actually been quite surprised at just how well it has gone. So we've, we've, we're very, very happy about that. It was designed for, specifically for higher education, but we found K-12, uh, private education, vocational, everyone has actually been able to find it useful for their own different contexts. Well, there's so much more that we now want to still do and of course this has led to all sorts of other things so it would be great to carry on with the project in some particular way. The great thing about having the project in episode format is it's very easy to update, it's very easy to add new information as new pedagogies come along, it's very easy to take things down when they're no longer relevant. So we're looking to try and get some more funding to actually continue this project and continue pushing it out to a much larger audience worldwide. It's not virtual teaching, it's just teaching. <laughs>